Hello my fellow crafters and welcome back to my channel. My name is David and today I'm going to be working in my art journal. I'm going to be using my own release, a journal, your live release that just came out uh, from Elizabeth Craft Designs. I'm very excited and uh, I'm going to play with it. I've got this idea in my head, no clue whether it's going to be working out, but we're going to find out together. Uh, I haven't tested this yet, so let's switch the cameras so we can find out. The previous video uh, I made this page. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, I will link it there, There, I think it is, I don't know, somewhere. Um, uh, I will link that, show you how I made this one. Um, but there's another side on this. Now this has stained a bit from the colors that bleed bled through. Um, so I'm going to do something to that, don't know what yet, but yeah, it'll come. Now in this same set from this page comes this fun little envelope. That's going to be one of the things that I'm going to be working with today. Um, and I've got this, yeah, it's tissue paper, but it's got this shiny backing. So I'm hoping it's sort of sturdy enough to play with. We'll see. We'll see. If it doesn't work, you will never see this video. It's simple as that. And if it does work, you will see it. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, I want to make some paper out of this so I can make the envelope out of that. And I'm going to be using... Uh, my stamps for that. Um, I've got several stamps uh, that I'm going to be using, these two mainly. Um, so let's, uh, yeah, let's get started, shall we? Now I'm going to be stamping with black on this and I'm going to start with this background stencil first. Um, it's one of my favorites. Well, they are, they all are, but I love this, this, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't judge, I can't say favorites because I designed them so <laughs> um, but yeah let's but I do love this one so I'm just gonna oops it's a bit of sticky stuff on my there we go um, let's just stamp and it can be grungy it doesn't have to be perfect It stems beautiful, so that's good. Mm. So I'm just randomly stamping this background stamp on there. So far, it's looking good. There we go, that's enough with this one. And then I'm getting out this one. Put it on. Just stamp that on there. So I think that is enough. Um, let me see, what do I have here? I do like this little background stamp thingy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my gray. Put that on my block. This is not gray, David. This is gray, the morning mist. And this is a very small script. You can read it if you do your best. Um, I'm just going to stamp that here and there. Do 
just overlapping first generation, second generation, I've got my little spots here that I will just use to fill up any gaps that are on there. These are so, so nice. I just love them. And I'm just using these to fill up any gaps that I might see just overlapping. I think this is fine. That is enough. Just stamp this off there. And I think that should be enough. Yeah. So what I'm going to do next I'm just going to heat set this. Make sure that it's dry uh, and not smudge everywhere. Next I'm coming in with Lost Shadow, which is uh, uh, the new color from Tim Holtz. Uh, it's a spray dye, um, but it's a dye ink, so it, it's transparent. Uh, and it's a very light color, so let me start that first. There we go. And then I'm going to pair that with, and this color is still closed. I haven't even used this. Why haven't I used this yet? Because I love the color. I just haven't used the spray yet. So it's brand new. But it makes sense that I have to be careful now. Because it's tissue paper, this will rip pretty easily. That's that. Next I'm coming in with Vintage Photo because I think this color with Vintage Photo, yummy. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this with water. Just make that color blend and run. And let this dry. I'm not going to touch it because I know this will rip. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back. Okay, this is now dry, dryish, and I love how this looks. Um, it has taken away some of the transparency, but I mean, you can still see, and that's what I like about this. It has some transparency to it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's cool. I'm just not done yet. I want some uh, water splatters on there. So let me get my water sprayer out. I'm just gonna spritz on there a bit. And then see if I can dab it off. But I, mm, mm, no, that doesn't work that well because you can see that uh, the paper sucks it up immediately. But I will dry it again and uh, it will have an effect. So let's do that. So this is now ready to trim out. So I'm going to get my little envelope thingy out and see what part I want, because it's mainly going to be the flaps you're going to see, obviously. Um, so and I'll just trim that out, saving as much as the, the paper as I can. Because I can use that for other bits and bobs. Well, look at that. That has trimmed out beautiful. So let's make that envelope. So I'm just going to fold it on the fold lines. Now with this flimsy paper, that's not an easy task because it folds quickly on the wrong bits, but it's working. There we go. Now, time to assemble this. I want these flappies to be underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some 
um, tape on there. Just some of this, uh, what is it, 3 mil tape. That will hold this down enough. Hold this down. While I'm holding this down, I'm just going to close this little flappy. And there's my little tissue paper envelope. Now this is of course going to be quite fragile, so I've got to make sure that the back is adhered well um, to the page. It's a shame almost, but yeah. But I love the texture and I love that the fact that the stamps come back from this as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some wider tape on the back and that will secure it well. There we go. That's ready to go. Put that to the side. Then I got to think ahead of what I'm doing with the rest. Now this is way too pink for me. Um, I love the pink, don't get me wrong, but I think for this it's a bit too pink. So I'm going to put some gesso on that. So let me get out my craft sheet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out some gesso. Just put that onto my craft sheet. Take my brayer. Roll this out, make sure I've got a good even layer on the brayer. And then with a light touch, I'm going to go over that. And I say light touch. And I do a big blob, but that's fine. And I'm going to turn that around. It's taken the pink down quite drastically already. So that is that. Now I'm going to clean off my craft sheet. And I'm going to use my finished photo spray. like that and spritz that a bit with water so it runs just help that along spritz it and I'm gonna dry that okay so now this is nice and dry and what happened is that the gesso sort of resisted uh, the ink uh, that I sprayed onto it and the paper has taken it on um, it has bled through a bit but I knew that would happen and I really don't mind that with this page so I think it adds to the charm of this page actually I love it when you try to do this this will never uh, you will cannot achieve it but yeah in this case love it so um, this page I love as well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grunge up the edges a bit with my frayed burlap um, before I continue doing anything because that will give me an image of yeah, what the page will look like. And I'm bringing the color in. Um, so it's normally I would edge it like that. But in this case, I'm going around and really let that color come in because that will grab or hold on the gesso as well. Now I see on the camera, it looks a lot more white than it is in real life because the, the light is reflecting on it. Um, but if you if I take away the light, yeah, there you go. You see, it's not white, white. It's taken on sort of a mauvey, purpley, pinkish tone, which is nice. So, that is that. I'm just going to edge my envelope because I can, you know. Okay, so my envelope thingy is going to go on here. That's one thing. Then I've got more paper left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this die. 
and trim that out. That did not work. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some uh, tape on the back. So I'm going to stick it down anyway. So I don't know why I didn't think of that before. So I've got this back now with the uh, double-sided adhesive. Pressed it on really nicely and I'm going to give that another go. Fingers crossed this works. Okay, that seems to have worked. So let me uh, get this out and then we can uh, continue. Yeah, this worked fine. This die cuts beautifully, just tapping it. And the inserts fly out. Now normally I would do this above a garbage can, but I just wanted to show you how easy it comes out. So I'm going to trim this in half. And that's going to be one part here at the bottom. And the other part is going to be at the top. So that's another way to extend this die. Uh, so you have the, uh, the texture going uh, across. So I'm going to peel off that backing. And that goes pretty well. And I'm going to put this on my page. Like so. I love that. So just placing this roughly where I think it should be and press it down, press it down. That's a bit fiddly because it's thin, but it worked. You see? Lovely. Now with this, I've got another idea. So I'm going to trim this out of um, a piece of black paper. I'm pretty sure I've got a smaller bit. There we go. Piece of black. And I'm going to trim these two out. So I've got the word art here. That was the idea. And I'm going to then cut another one of these out of my scrap piece of paper. Like so. So, now next one I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off the backing. And I'm going to fold that back like this. You see what I do? Then I will line this up here at the... I have to pick it up, sorry. Here at the top, I will line up the hole. And then I will just peel this off. And I will just trim this part off. There we go. So I just made a mess, but I fixed it. So that combines well. And then I'm going to use the word art and I'm going to glue that on there. Simple as that, right? So, take my little needle tip for that. There we go. Let that dry. Then I want to put a little black hole reinforcer in there. I'm taking the matte black one and get that on there using my crocodile. Hopla. There we go. Now I've got a bit of black velvet ribbon here that I'm going to trim off a bit. Line that through 
if it wants to, but it has to, so there we go, because I want to. <laughs> get my little stapler out and I'm going to staple that here at the top. I like this the soft look of the velvet. There we go. And I'm going to trim this off at an angle. There we go. That's going to be on there. So I'm building up this different elements. Now let me clean up my mess here and then I'll continue. Okay, next what I've done is I took a piece of a scrap piece of paper that I had laying around um, and I took the this die which is the base die for the envelope card and the matte layer and the matte layer I kept white so I can journal on there or whatever but hey it's gotta have a grungy edge right simple as that so that's what we're doing I'm going to edge this one as well to get rid of that white border. There we go. Then I'm going to take my tape. I'm going to tape that together and line that up. And here's my little card to go into my little envelope. Love that. So let's put the envelope on. I think that will pull it all together. I'm just going to finish this side um, because the other side that's going to be here and here I'm going to do something else because it's going to go in my journal anyway, uh, not next to each other. So um, yeah, so I'm going to finish this. There we go. Now I just want to stamp a bit on there using my little text thingy. Um, but I'm gonna do that on my hand. I'm gonna stamp it off first. And then I'm just gonna give that some texture. See what that does? It immediately gives depth and layeredness to the page. You've got the different layers, the gesso, the color, the back patterns coming through. Just one more. There. There. That's enough. Next I'm going to take my little stamp with the, the dots. See this one? I'm just gonna stamp them. Around. Now I'm just using this little pen nib. like that, just as a fun little element on there. And then I'm going to attach this one. I think I'm going to put that right here. So I'm just going to use my wet glue for that. And here's 
my page done. So I'm going to be working on this side. Um, let me crunch that up. There we go. So this is an, for another project. This project is done. I love how this turned out with the thin tissue paper pocket, the texture in the back. Yeah, I really, really like this. Um, so if you like it too, please consider to subscribe to my channel uh, and give this video a thumbs up because that would really uh, uh, help other people find my video as well. Comment below, I always answer, So, um, uh, but be nice. Um, if you're not nice, uh, yeah, we need to stay polite. Um, so, but comment below, I always answer. And uh, that was it for today, guys. This was it. This is the beautiful page I made today. Uh, and uh, yeah, I love it. Hope you liked it too. And I would love to see you for the next one. Thank you. Bye.